Hello all. Okay. Um, Assalamualaikum. So here in this lecture, I'm going to talk about common base amplifier. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We have covered common emitter and common emitter with emitter degenerations section. So today we are going to talk about the common base amplifier. All right. Uh, this is the second topology, second configurations that we will learn in this uh, lecture. Okay, in this chapter. Okay, so this is the circuit that you see in the uh, PowerPoint slides. Number, if I'm mistaken, let me see, it is number 57. Okay, alright. So, if you see from this circuit, okay, okay. Since it's common base, the base is grounded. Can I ask you, is this base is AC ground or DC ground? Okay, as you can see, it, it, it is not mentioned. But for sure, when we talk about common base configuration, when we say the base is uh, common, it means the base is AC ground. Okay, why I want to highlight this? Because we're actually the biasing to this, um, to this transistors. Remember that these transistors need to be biased at the forward active bias in order for this transistor to work as an amplifier. Alright, so where is the biasing? Okay, it, it is not shown here clearly, but we can represent this current source as the biasing uh, source for these transistors. Or if you look at other, the previous notes that I gave you, alright, it, the base here is connected to one resistor and some other where there is some voltage as well okay it is not shown here it may have some resistors here and connected here and there all right but for sure this uh, transistors need to be biased in the forward active bias so this is a simplified circuit of the common base amplifier all right so we just because here we want to concentrate on the small signal common base amplifier Okay, we just concentrate on that one. Where this base need to be, uh, this base need to be uh, AC ground. All right. So, um, so from this circuit, we need to transform to the small signal equivalent circuit. Okay. All right. Okay. So, how we want to do that? Okay. Remember that. Um, uh, what I will do always is I will transform these transistors to a hybrid pi model uh, BJT transistors or the T model. For this case, I will change to using the T model. Okay, T model, T model of the trans uh, these BJT transistors. Okay, so which one? Okay, so here I already prepared this one. Okay. Where is the T model? T model, okay. You see, this is the collector. This is the T model. Okay. For this example, I'm omitting the R0 between the collector to the emitter. The RCE, the small signal uh, RDS, RCE resistance. Okay. Just now I have shown you how we will start with this transistor model right okay this this is the t model of the bjt transistor okay so now i will show you both circuit now here from here can you see now we we'll start at the base here okay this base terminal is connected directly to the ground okay so from here okay all right from here it is connected to the ground so you draw a ground terminal here and then we've done with the base, uh, base connection to the base terminal of the transistors. Now let's look at the uh, whatever is connected to the terminal of to the emitter terminal of the transistors. Okay, now let's look at here. Okay, now first what I will I will what we will see we will see the current source. Remember in the class previously I have mentioned that what happened to this current source when we want to transform to the small signal equivalent circuit. This will become an open circuit. Open circuit. So here it will have nothing here. It's open. Okay. So what else you will see? You will see a 
capacitor CC1 here. Okay, the CC1, what will become to the small signal equivalent circuit? It will become a short circuit. So it will just a straight line here. Okay, and then we'll see R6 here. So I will draw R6 here. And then we will have the input signal V6 here. And then ground. Okay, so we've done with this. Um, with this um, uh, circuit that is connected to the emitter terminal. Alright, and then I will put this, the input will be starting, the input impedance of this small signal circuit will start from this point, which is excluding the resistor, uh, the source resistor R6 and also the input signal V6. Okay? Okay. Alright, and then the input signals also the input voltage will also be defined from this point, okay, from this emitter point, okay, because the input to this common base is going to the emitter terminal, all right, okay, we, we've done with whatever connected to the emitter terminal, now we look at the whatever connected to the collector terminal of this BJT, look at here, what you will see here, you will see an RC, RC here and then VCC, what will happen here? What happened to the VCC when we transform here? It will become a AC ground. So we connect this RC and then this is the AC ground. Okay, can you see that? Okay, now and now here from here is the from from the collector terminal here. It also we see CC two where it will, where, where it will become a short circuit, and then it will see RL to the ground. So um, it will see RL to the ground, and this is your V out. Okay, this is the small uh, signal equivalent circuit okay remember that in the exam questions part b of question number one usually i will ask you to draw this small signal equivalent circuit okay all right i'll stop here we'll continue what we are going to analyze from this circuit all right so from this circuit we want to analyze the four characteristic parameters for this small signal equivalent circuit remember the, the, the four one will be the input resistance, the output resistance, the voltage uh, gain and also the current gain. Okay? Alright. So, the first one will be the, we will look at the input resistance. Okay? Input resistance. Okay, all right. Input resistance R in. Okay. All right. Where is the input resistance? Okay. Okay. If you look at from this circuit, input resistance is this from this point. Okay. We see that. Okay. From this point, what we will be see seeing, we will see this R E, and then this base is to the ground. So we are not taking into account anything else after that. Okay. So. Can you see that? It looks like that the R in from the emitter, we will see one R E to the ground. So, so R in therefore is equals to R E. All right. Okay. Okay. From this circuit. Okay. Can you see that? All right. Next, we will look into the voltage gain. The second is voltage gain. V out over V I. Alright. We want to see that first. Alright. So, look at from this circuit. What is V out equals to? Okay. What is V out equals to? V out is equals to minus alpha ie where this is the current which is flowing here okay and we group in we group this to resistance this is the current v equals to i all right using the ohm's law and then we have rc parallel to rl okay so this is our v out 
Okay, so this is our V out. Okay. But what is IE in terms of V in? Because we want what we want is V out over V in, right? So what is IE? Okay, from this circuit, what is IE? Okay, now if you look at back at here, when I put R in here, okay, V in as from at this E terminal here to the ground, okay, to the ground, okay. So same, it will be the same here, R in equals to, this is VI, okay, and where's the current coming from? Current, current is coming from this point towards this, we define it as this way. Can you see that the current is actually, if I put on this circuit, the current which is on this way. Okay. Alright. Therefore, from this circuit, I will say, from this circuit, VI, using Ohm's law, VI equals to, okay, minus IE times RE. Am I right? Look carefully. Because we are defining this current which is this way and we define IE is the current flowing into this resistor. So if we have this, we rearrange the circuit like this, so IE is the other way around, right? From this point. Therefore, it is minus IE RE using Ohm's law. So from this equation, we can, we can, so therefore IE is equals to minus VI over RE. You put this equation Let's say this is equation 2 and this is equation 1. Put equation 2 into 1. You will get V out equals to minus alpha. Okay, IE which is minus VI over RE. Okay, RC parallel RL. Therefore, we get V out over V i equals to alpha over R e R c parallel to R l. Okay. All right. Okay. So we get the voltage gain as alpha r e over r c parallel to r l okay now if you look at the t model okay t model uh b of for the bjt there you see what is r e equals to r equals to alpha over gm means that from slides uh number 32 okay um R E is equals to alpha over G M or you can rearrange G M equals to alpha over R E. So you will get V out over V in which is the voltage gain as G M R C parallel R L. Okay. Can you see that this equation is almost similar to the common emitter amplifier? Why I say I'm almost similar? Okay, because in this common base, this amplifier, the it is the output is not in the inverting of the input signal. So it is a non-inverting amplifier. Can you see that? Okay. Alright, so basically it will give you similar gain as compared to the voltage gain, but not inverted. Yeah. Uh, same voltage gain as common emitter but not in inverting right so we have seen input resistance and also voltage gain and let's see what is the output resistance okay from slides number 57 you, where is the output resistance is looking into? Into that point here. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, it is from here. 
this is your output resistance okay by inspection and by the definitions remember that output resistance is equals to v out over i out when v input equals to zero so if we input is equals to zero nothing's here there's no here all right so we it will be just left with rc it's as if you will see um, sorry here rc r out here and nothing is connected there okay because i is because is zero everything is zero because there's no input so there's no input there's no current flowing here so we will just left with rc therefore it's equals to equals to rc okay all right okay so let's look at the short circuit current gain so the fourth parameter characteristic parameter of the small signal amplifier here is the short circuit current gain okay short circuit current gain is by definition if you look at the slide number 37 it is defined as i out over i in when rl equals to zero whereas i out if you look at slide number of the circuit here uh, it's, this circuit is coming from slide number number 52 let me take sorry 57 okay slide number 57 the i out is here this is your i out so in our equivalent circuit it will be here okay this is your i out into your rl since the rl is zero so the current which is coming up here is all right equals to the negative alpha ie can you see that the i out here is equals to negative because the direction is opposite directions so i out equals to alpha ie okay alpha ie there okay and what is i over i i okay what is i i okay okay where's i i if you look at slide number 57 and 58 okay i i is the current which is flowing into this right this is your i i okay in the short circuit so this will be your i i why is sorry this is i i okay i i can you see that so i i is in the opposite directions of i e so therefore for this equations is equals to minus alpha ie over ie so this one will be cancelled off so the short circuit current gain is equals to minus sorry this is minus ie so it becomes alpha only. okay can you see that so the short circuit short circuit current gain is alpha all right so now we have seen the four Characters parameter of the common base amplifier one is your input resistance which equals to re re and then the voltage gain is which is equals to gm rc rl the output resistance equals to rc and also the short circuit current gain which is equals to alpha okay so i think i have ended this common base uh, amplifier configuration so um, we'll, I will see you again and we will talk about the common collector amplifier configurations okay good luck please study and try to understand then um, so basically the material here is coming from the textbook which is the Cedra and Smith microelectronic circuits books so you can refer to that book to if you can understand if you have any question you can always come and talk to me or you can also uh, I think it's better to come and talk to me all right okay see you bye